a hydrogen lamp emits several lines in the visible region of the spectrum. One of these lines has a wavelength of 6.56 times 10 to the negative 5 centimeters. I'm trying to be a little slick. All right, one more conversion factor, or we can just move the decimal twice and turn that into meters. It's asking us, uh, what is the frequency? So here we go again with this light. Speed of light is equal to the wavelength times frequency. Let's rearrange this algebraically. First, save us a little time to solve for frequency, which is represented by nu. All right, so we'll divide through by lambda. And again, the speed of light is equal to the wavelength. Let's plug in the numbers we're given. Speed of light is given on your reference sheet there, 2.998 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Now we can turn this right into centimeters right now, or we can turn that wavelength into meters, which which is what we'll do. Okay, so there's, uh, there's, uh, you know, let's just, I'll do it separately right here. 6.56 times 10 to the negative 5 centimeters. Let's turn that into meters so we can cancel this stuff out. All right, so we need a conversion factor with centimeters on the bottom and meters on the top. So 100 centimeters and 1 meter, that's a conversion factor. All right, or you can use 1 centimeter is 10 to the... Oops, sorry, that's deci. All right, uh, that's also good, doesn't matter. Get the same answer. You know, let's just do that. Keep it that that might work. All right. So centimeters cancel out. We're adding these uh let me change the color up. All right, these cancel out. We are adding the exponents because the bases are both 10. So that's simple enough. Let's just use that. Alright, so down here is gonna be six point five six times 10 to the negative 7. Here I knew it was going to be times 10 to the negative 7. Right? All these visible visible uh, wavelengths is uh, in scientific notation going to end up in that range of 10 to the negative 7. All right. Cancel, cancel. We're left with units of per second, which is the unit of frequency. Let's go to our calculator. Here we go. 2.998 times 10 to the 8 divided by 6.56 times 10 to the negative 7. Boom. Uh, the wave or the, what did it give us? The wavelength that it originally gave us had three significant figures. So our answer, our calculated answer has to have three as well. Now that's going to be the 4, the 5, and the 7. So the answer is 4.57 times, uh, that's an up the x, times 10 to the, was it 14? I think it was 14. All right, we'll go seconds to the negative 1. You can call it hertz. You can call it 1 over seconds. 